The last thing I want to show you is how to use AQL in a Fox route. And we will see how to retrieve data from the collection now that we know how to add to it. We will set up a new route to retrieve keys from the documents in the collection. The first thing we want to do in our callback function is actually assign the keys to a keys variable that we can return. To do this, we will use our db.underscoreQuery function, which is required any time you're going to query the database. And then we can actually use AQL. But in order to actually use AQL in our Fox services, we do need to import it. Now that we have access to the AQL module, we can actually use a template string to format our query so that it looks just like it does in the web view. This also allows us to use variables within our template string. We will use a typical for loop to iterate through our collection. And because we are using template strings, we can reference our Fox collection variable and then we just want to return each key of every document that we find in the collection. And now that we have a keys variable that actually contains keys, we can send that back to our client. And since we are actually sending data, we can use the response method and actually define what the response will be, which is an array that contains string values. Lastly, the summary and description for this route, and then that's it for this route. We can hop back into the web view and update our service and test it out. At this point, I'm betting you're pretty familiar with this process. We'll go to our service, we'll go to settings, and then replace and then upload, upload again. We'll create our new zip file from our up to date project folder. Double click and replace. And one more replace. Okay, let's hop back in our API documentation and here we go. Now we can go ahead and click on our new entry that should retrieve the keys of the documents in our My Fox collection. Let's go ahead and try it out, execute. There it is, there's key one. That's the document that we previously entered. Let's go back and try and enter a new document to make sure that we are actually getting all of the keys and not just one. We'll do underscore key, and I'm just gonna give this a key value of key two and a name value of, we'll just say, not Chris. And we'll execute it. And there it is, excellent. And let's go see what we get. 
Hey, there we go. Okay, we've got key one and key two. So it's iterating through our collection and returning all of the keys that it finds.